All right, so I've been wanting to play with this uh, Nuova Simonelli Musica. I got it yesterday, got it primed, did a couple videos on it, and now it's time to pull some shots. I have some coffee that I roasted the other day. Uh, we're just going to try this Sumatran. Pretty good espresso. And hopefully this DF83 is dialed in for this. I guess we'll find out. So I roasted these on a Kaleido roaster on Saturday, so it's been a few days. This Sumatran is pretty awesome. It says it tastes like watermelon, tropical fruit, limeade. It's a honey process, juicy, sweet, syrupy, complex. I don't know if I get all those notes out of it, but it is a very nice, not overly sweet coffee, but it's really nice coffee. I've really enjoyed it. I don't have very much green of it, so I'm going to miss not having it. I might have to see if I can get more. We're going to do 18 grams. Went a little bit over. Okay, so there we are at 18 grams. Let's put it into our DF83. DF83 makes really fast work of 18 grams. I like to do WDT. My auto tamper is not set up for this machine since I don't have a bottomless. My bottomless border filters are actually a little bit thinner. So I have the forks on that set up a little bit. So today we're just gonna use good old trusty Reg Barber. And I need to go grab a towel. Wipe out your porta filter and we'll dose. So nice fluffy grounds. I still like to do a little WDT just to get everything distributed nicely. And then we'll tamp it. Get all those grounds off the edge. So, I like to get a nice polish. You can run this for a second. And today we're just going to run it in the manual mode because I haven't programmed these other modes quite yet. Hopefully our cup is wide enough. Let's do this other cup. I'm not used to using spout head very often. We're just gonna use this rocket cup. Is that sacrilege having the rocket cup on a Nuova machine? So running a bit fast. Hadn't dialed this grinder in yet today. Uh, I was using it yesterday for some videos and some different beans. So I knew it should be pretty close. Looks like it's making a nice a little bit long espresso shot. So there's our espresso shot. I don't really do much with milk, so I'm just going to drink it as is. Let's give it a quick try. Oh man, that's awesome. I love these coffee beans that I have right now. So really easy machine to use. We'll do a quick video on how to program your volumetric settings. It's really not that hard, but it should probably be its own video just for people out there looking and trying to find it real quick. Um, pull this out. Looks like a pretty nice puck, maybe a little wet. Not real worried about that. Um, I, I prefer using IMS screens anyway, so I might try to take an IMS screen and put it in this porta filter. Uh, I don't have a bottomless for this machine, so I'm probably just going to be using the spouted or a single spout. But nice, knock-free, just classic espresso basket. Um, has the ridges. So if you're using this for your home, you may opt to upgrade your porta filter. If you're using this in a shop, th this porta filter is great. So thanks for watching. Hit subscribe, that helps us out. If you're thinking about buying this machine, uh, we'll, we'll leave a link below. There's a couple different variants. If you got any questions, just reach out to us and we'll try to get those questions answered. Thanks for watching.